Okay, welcome back. Here's a topic that have interested me in many, many years, and that's called stress. Uh, I learned some techniques to avoid stress many, many years ago. I've been working in IT, consulting, it's a high stress environment, uh, doing a lot of work, on overtime, etc. Right? And one of the things you will learn as you're growing up, when you're younger, you will have project leaders or team leaders that say, oh, this should have been done yesterday. Oh, this is burning. Oh, this is disaster, right? Most of the time, it's not really a problem. Sometimes, uh, it's money out the window. You might have missing critical systems that uh, generate revenue based on their uptime. And then you're in trouble sometimes. I've been there, I know. But an important thing is that even though if it's super you're losing millions of dollars or euros or whatever fiat currency you're stuck in. Um, don't worry. Rewind, unwind, and don't don't stress too much. Um, and there's a few techniques you can do to avoid stress. One of the things I did many years ago was to stop taking notes. Um, Sometimes I take notes, of course, when I know I like shopping list and whatever, like if there's something important I need to do, or if you're doing a project of sorts, you might put some notes, but don't, I don't make like general to-do lists anymore of my life of what I need to do. Cause I have, I have, if I would write it all down, there's thousands upon thousands of actual things that I should be doing right now. And I don't stress about it. And my philosophy is that if it's important, I'll remember it. If it's important for others, they will remind you. Okay? If nobody remembers, it wasn't that important after all. And this is a profound insight, I think, because especially in IT, when we're building IT computer systems, there's incredible amount of ways we can realize our requirement that of something we're doing, right? We can implement it very securely and securely, good code quality, high performance, low performance, all kinds of different ways we can do things. And, um, and uh, yeah, what was my point? And the thing is like most of the time, all the features are not necessary, right? Business might want to have this um, software developed with hundred features, but they're satisfied when you finish with 65 or 70 of those features. And that's enough. Uh, sometimes you need to finish everything, but most of the time you don't. Uh, so that's one thing um, I do to avoid stress. Another thing is to, in general, remove fear from your life. As I mentioned, I had this episode about fear. And if you're removing fear, you're also removing stress in many different ways and stress is actually a killer like science uh, science on this and statistics shows that stress it gives you gray hair it uh, releases uh, uh, wait, I'm very blank on the body and I'm human anatomy uh, right now but yeah your uh, your body is going to take a hit uh, and a toll off it if you're stressing all the time so try to relax more uh, I know it might not be easy in the current position and whatever you're doing in life, but uh, it's about being conscious a bit about it, that hmm, maybe I don't need to stress this much. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Maybe my job is actually the not, most, not the most important thing in the world. Maybe the code I'm writing right now is not supposed to be this good. Maybe, uh, Maybe I will survive if I lose my job next month or I don't know. There's so many scenarios here. But my point is just that uh, focus on reducing stress in your life. There's a lot of books on this topic and there's a lot of different techniques. I've sh told you some of them already. But there's others you can, we can figure out by yourself. So, yeah. Anti-stress. Stress down. Even though life is a busy, busy world and there's a lot of things we should have done. But we can't do everything. We have limited energy. We don't have limited time. 
Time just comes and comes and comes. Time we got enough of, energy we lack. We have a certain limited amount of energy. So focus your energy, put it to good use, and take care. Bye-bye.